Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Living Room Con here. Uh, sorry, I sound a little funny. I just got over like a little cold. Um, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm off to Corona today, about 100 miles from my house. Small collection, very small collection, about 160 bucks. Um, it said in the ad that she wanted 250 bucks, but it's what's in there that kind of blew me away. So off to Corona we go. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my wife. She lent me $250 I did not have this morning. Uh, embarrassing enough as it is to say that, that's what happened. So anyway, off to Corona I go. Yeah, so there has been like a, a bike race in Pacific Beach. I'm just trying to leave and it's just like sort of a cluster of just blocked off roads and everything. So if you're in Pacific Beach today, um, uh, Sunday, uh, I believe it is uh, the 7th uh, of November, then you're gonna be hitting traffic everywhere you go because they got this bike race going on and there's no way of getting around it. You literally you have to wait in line to pass the cones where the bikes are racing so just in, just a heads up everybody in you know southern california or planning on being in southern california today all right yeah so uh we're getting close we're about uh 20 minutes away and now we're starting to just see like desert everywhere so this is what uh happens when you get to this part of southern california everything's desert um i remember a few months ago i did a um a haul video but I didn't get the collection it was in Sam one and this desert they there was um some of these mountains were covered in snow I don't think these mountains but some of the bigger ones that were out in the horizon anyway um let's uh see what happens when I get there okay here we are guys we're just about to get off the exit of the freeway literally inland middle of nowhere desert but uh there seems to be like some shopping centers nearby so afterwards i could maybe get like a soda drink or something because i haven't had anything to drink this entire ride and i'm getting kind of like thirsty so but yeah uh, in case i need to get gas there's gas stations around oh here we are this is it all right we'll be there in like five minutes Hey, all right, so I just got out of there and uh, I couldn't believe what I found. It, it was kind of like stuff that never happens and it's in your wildest dreams that I was able to buy something this afford, like at this price for, two, uh, all I spent was $250 and uh, I'm gonna pull over into a parking lot to go through the box because I was just about to get out of there and um, that peep, uh, was it, um, I'm not gonna say their names, I didn't ask them um, if it was okay. But um, they were super nice, they were moving. Um, and they were uh, just trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And uh, the man was like, um, yeah, I'm 61 years old and I've had this stuff since I was a kid and I'm just getting rid of it now instead of letting my kids deal with it. So here I am. <laughs> And here I am. So I'm gonna just pull over here really quickly. There's a Starbucks. I'm gonna get myself something to drink and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so as you guys could see, I have all these books, but they're all laid flat in this box. So I don't wanna damage them anymore than they already are. So what I'm gonna do is deal with it when I get back home, uh, bag and board them and then I'll show you. But guys you're not gonna believe what i got it's literally like all marvel silver age books keys stanley jack kirby books first appearances you name it um all right all right so here are the books amazing spider-man's first meet with daredevil amazing spider-man 19 first scorpion pretty good book Third appearance or fourth appearance of Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man 27, 
first molten man. Spider Man 29, first cat burglar. Issue 50, first kingpin. That's one of the best books in there. So nice. I gotta check later to see if there's anything uh, missing inside, but man, that is a good find. This is Spider Man 56, 59, first Mary Jane cover. One Stacy cover. Medusa. Some filler ones. Mysterio. Annual 2, Doctor Strange story. Annual 5. Cool cover. First Immortus, Avengers 10. That book's been heating up. Uh, I forgot what that one was. Oh, first Dane Whitman. It's a good book. Some more Avengers. Captain America, Second Falcon. A lot of square bound books. Oh, that's a, I like that book. First Stilt Man, Daredevil 9. Oh, no, that's Daredevil 9, sorry. Doctor Doom appearance. Uh, first Jester. Some more Daredevil. Oh, Fantastic Four, she 12. The first Hulk crossover with Thing and Hulk. First time they meet. It's just like, finding that out in the wild is like beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, Ant-Man appearance. It's a cool book. First Super Scroll. Yeah, finding any of this was just like, kind of like, blew my mind. First Rama Tut. That's a, that's a hot book right now. Really, really hot with the Loki series. First Psycho Man. First Haymonger. Doctor Doom appearance. Oh, yeah, and then Hulk and Thing again. It's a really nice-looking book. I would say it's a VG, maybe VG slash Fine, or 5 It's a ton, a ton of keys in here. I, was, he, I think he knew what were the keys and what were the filler issues, and I'm not sure why he just got Marvel Silver Age. There's a couple of bronze ones in there, but he was just going for the Marvel Silver Age back in the 60s. And he just, yeah, he might have had other books. I, he did have other books, but the, they were from the 90s. They were like Silver Surfer from the 90s. It's a cool cover. Some more Fantastic Four. Giant Size Hulk 1. King, oh, King Size Special 1. Amazing, amazing cover. Some Journey in the Mystery. First Great Gargoyle. Excuse me, I'm still a little uh, congested. Some Square Bound reprints of uh, Marvel books. Marvel Spotlight 1. It's a Black Knight story been pretty hot recently going for about a hundred bucks Marvel superheroes these are all like reprint square bound books a lot of these Marvel books like Marvel title books and we got Marvel Tales 1 reprint of Amazing Fantasy 15 Some more Marvel Tales. More Marvel Tales. All reprints. More Marvel Tales. More Marvel Tales. Marvel Team Up 5. It's a pretty cool book. I have one, another one signed by Jerry Conway. Uh, some more Marvel reprints. Nick Fury, Outlaw Kid, uh, there's some Raha Kid, yeah, there's some Western stuff, Sergeant Fury and Helen Commandos, 
Most of the filler ones, no important keys, except we only got like a bunch of king size issues. Strange Tales 109, that's pre Doctor Strange. 118, first Beetle, first Dormammu. Finding this is like a huge delight. I always wanted this and I found it in a collection. It's just the biggest delight ever to see that book in a collection. Unbelievable. First Dormammu, nice mid grade copy. Some more Strange Tales. Submariner. Tales of Suspense. It's like the second Mandarin, I think. The third Mandarin. And then first Hawkeye. That book is... The Hawkeye TV series coming up. That book is blowing up. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll see if you see it. Or we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, some more Tales of Suspense. Tales of Astonish, first appearance of the Wasp. Um, forgot what number. Can't see, sorry. Um, it's for Tales of Astonish. First Hulk in Tales of Astonish title. Continuing the Hulk run. First appearance of the leader. Tales to Astonish. First Abomination. I have, this is my third copy. It's a really good book to have because I think they're going to reuse him in the MCU. Some Thor books. Uh, Origin of Galactus. It's a good book. Two Gun Kid, Two Gun Kid, X Men Five, and it's a good copy too. It's maybe a four or five, some chipping on the side, but nonetheless, X Men Issue Five. I mean, how can you go wrong with X Men Issue Five? Then you got uh, yeah, this one. Okay, all right, all right. So there you got it, everybody. Um, just remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And leave a comment on what you thought of the collection and the video. Um, it, it's, I, I still can't believe that, uh, yeah, like that was there. Um, that was in there. It just blew my mind. Like literally like blew me away. Like I would never think that I would come across something like this out in the wild in my wildest, wildest dreams, but I, I guess I just got really, really lucky today, you know? I, I don't know. I, I saw, I saw the notification on my phone on Facebook and I just jumped for it. And it just, it's something about that. I just went for it and I knew that I could be there with, uh, it took me about an hour drive and I didn't waste no time. I talked to the lady very nice lady. It was for her husband who, you know, they didn't have time to sort it out, price out the stuff. And, and he, uh, just didn't have time to look it up, see how much all these comics were worth. And they didn't want to give it to their kids. They just wanted to get rid of it. So I was more than willing to do that. And they kind of knew some of them were valuable, but they didn't, seemed to put up too much of a fight of just letting them go, you know? And it was just like one of those things, like it happens sometimes. Like I, sometimes you get collections, you get lucky and sometimes you spend $3,500 and there's just like one book in there and the rest is all like that last collection I got was like mostly Tomb Raider. I mean, not to say that wasn't a bad collection, but to make your money back is not easy with those kind of collections. It's a lot of work, but this is like, I sell maybe like one book and I already, I, I made like a thousand dollars, you know, <laughs> and um, I'm not I'm not gonna say too much because I know that they wouldn't appreciate the fact that I, I might be taking advantage of them. But I need I need these books. I need these in my collection, 
and uh, I'm so grateful to find this, this this collection. It's just like, oh my god, like, um, they did, the, they were very friendly, and like as I was walking away, um, the the husband said, uh, like we were just. I didn't just I didn't just leave because I I felt like I didn't want to just run you know what I'm saying so I was like we're you know like mingling or whatever and then he showed me his tattoo of he had a tattoo of Silver Surfer and Galactus on his back um it was from like maybe his bottom shoulder all the way down to his center waist it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen up close <laughs> oh man so anyway um. Yeah, just make sure you subscribe and like this video and leave a comment and uh, have a great day, everybody.